Hello friends, welcome back to Better English Every Day. Please share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Today we shall be discussing the topic of important noun rules. There are certain noun rules which we have to understand in order to gain a stronger understanding of nouns and their usage. These rules allow one to use nouns with confidence and accuracy. It is important to understand the basic rules to understand the proper functionality of nouns. Rule number one, some nouns are always used in plural form and take plural verb. Examples are nouns that exist in pairs like some instruments, clothes, footwear and accessories. Also, this category includes noun words like earnings, assets, riches, surroundings, etc. Consider the following examples, scissors, pliers, binoculars, jeans, trousers, shorts, drawers, shoes, slippers, glasses, spectacles, earnings, assets, riches, etc. Let's see the following sentences. His earnings are thankfully adequate to meet his large family. We use the plural verb are along with the noun word earnings. We say his earnings are and not his earnings is. Next sentence, the scissors are lying on the table. The noun word scissors uses the plural verb are. The surroundings of the palace with lakes are very breathtaking. His riches are vast and assets are amounting to billions. Rule number two, some nouns appear to be plural but are singular in meaning and take singular verbs like mathematics, physics, politics, economics, ethics, athletics, news, measles, rickets, innings. These noun words appear to be plural but they are in general singular and they also take singular verbs. When used in sentences we say economics is an interesting subject we do not say economics are an interesting subject. We say mathematics has been her favorite subject and not mathematics have been. Similarly, there is a breaking news about an oncoming storm with heavy rains. Linguistics is the study of different languages. Practicing ethics in every profession is highly crucial in today's times. Rule number three, some collective nouns appear to be singular, but are plural in meaning and take plural verbs. Example, the collective nouns cattle, police, women, children, people, crowd, poultry, clergy, infantry. They appear to be singular, but actually they are plural in meaning and the verbs used with them will also be plural verbs. The cattle are grazing in the field. The poultry are being fed. The children have been told to go to their dormitories at nine. The people have a tendency to form crowds when movie stars are spotted shooting nearby. Women have been weaving baskets and earning living in this place since many years. The infantry were advancing to attack the ridge. Rule number four, some nouns are singular in form they are always used in singular form and take singular verb. Example, jewelry, crockery, furniture, information, machinery, breakage, stationery, advice, luggage, baggage, knowledge, wastage, education. Let's consider the following sentences. The furniture has to be polished today. Her percentage in the final exams has been very good. She said her jewelry has to be placed in a locker. The finest crockery 
has been gifted to her in her wedding. Knowledge which has been gained has to be put to good use. See that there is no food wastage in today's grand party. The wreckage has been photographed again and again by the press. The baggage has been loaded onto the truck. Note that we have used the singular form of verb along with all these noun words, furniture, percentage, jewelry, crockery, etc. Rule number five, certain numeral nouns take S as suffix to form plural only when not preceded by a definite number. But when preceded by a definite number, they do not take S as suffix to form plural. Let's consider the sentences. I bought two dozen bananas. Here there is a definite number two before the word dozen. So we cannot add S at the end of the word dozen. We will say I bought two dozen bananas and not two dozens bananas. Similarly, Ritesh has dozens of clothes he wants to give to old age homes. Here there is no definite number before the word dozen. So we can add S at the end of the word dozen. I bought five pair of socks for my daughter. Since there is a definite number five before the word pair, we cannot put S at the end of the word pair. We will just say I bought five pair of socks. In the last sentence, so many pairs of doves are perched on that tree. There is no definite number of the doves which are perched. So we can safely say pairs of doves. And finally, rule number six, abstract nouns have no plural form. Example, hard work is always suitably rewarded. Envy is not a good virtue. Her clarity of concepts is remarkable. Laughter is the best medicine. Jealousy has never been a good virtue. The victory of the team is laudable. Look at the calm serenity which dawns over the green hills. The abstract nouns hard work, envy, clarity, laughter, jealousy, victory, serenity, they do not have plural form. Now let us glance at some nouns and their plural forms. Penny, pennies, spy, spies, duty, duties, canary, canaries, lily, lilies, country, countries, county, counties, tooth, teeth, foot, feet, goose, geese, root, roots, fruit, fruits, lute, lutes, flute, flutes, half, halves, calf, calves, leaf, Leaves, thief, thieves, knife, knives, loaf, loaves, elf, elves, life, lives, shelf, shelves, wolf, wolves. Potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes, torpedo, torpedoes, cactus, cacti, fungus, Fungi, radius, radii, nucleus, nuclei, focus, foci, syllabus, syllabi, analysis, analyses, diagnosis, diagnoses, thesis, theses, sheep, sheep, deer, deer, fish, fish, bison, bison, advice, advice, news, News, equipment, equipment, reindeer will remain reindeer, salmon will remain salmon, cod will remain cod, goldfish, goldfish, cattle, cattle, oxygen, oxygen, apparatus will remain apparatus. Match, matches, bush, bushes, box, boxes, fox, foxes, roof, roofs, chief, chiefs, dwarf, dwarves, 
scarf scarves kilo kilos piano pianos radio radios stereo stereos hero heroes zero zeros shampoo shampoos eco ecos volcano volcanoes buffalo buffaloes cargo cargoes ox oxen brother brethren mouse mice pony ponies army armies fly flies curry curries also let us have a glance at noun and its opposite gender He, the noun hero the opposite gender that is a female form will be heroine bridegroom bride ram you emperor empress nephew niece duke duchess uncle aunt bull cow fox vixen drake duck heir heiress rooster hen peacock peahen host hostess stallion mare gentleman lady buck doe governor governess waiter waitress landlord landlady priest priestess lad lass bachelor spinster drone and bee that's all for today please if you like the content share subscribe please do comment and press the bell icon thank you goodbye and take care